Welcome back to the Not So Berry Challenge. Oh my god. <laughs> Good start to your episode, Sapphire. Um, as you can see, Sapphire has gotten her teen makeover. She's dyed her hair blue. She's looking freaking adorable. Um, and I'm so glad to be on the blue generation because now we can say no to this hangout invite. <laughs> Finally, for the first time in Emerald's life, she doesn't have to say yes to every hangout. Emerald is currently doing a gaming competition for the Refuge game. I feel like I don't have her enter enough competitions, but now that she has finished her generation, she has more time for that. We'll see if she wins. <laughs> but um, if you missed Sapphire's makeover video, I will link it up in the corner here. But I think she looks so freaking pretty. The one thing I did change, which I already mentioned I was gonna change about her genetics was the complete lack of chin. That's just something that happens in The Sims as the generations go on. But I also gave her friends makeovers. I'll just like zoom in here a little bit. Here is a Griffin. They still have good compatibility, so that's nice. He also aged up with the creative trait. And you know what was so cute? I swear to God I did not change this, but he aged up with um, one of the family aspirations um i think it was big happy family isn't that like so perfect for sapphire like her whole generation and she wants to be a super parent they're just like so compatible it's just good compatibility and i just want to see if she finds <gasps> no <laughs> this is actually perfect yet again for this story so her attractiveness preferences i guess have been developed now since she aged up with this um wonderful whims mod she finds him very unattractive i'm not saying he's the best looking guy in the world but very unattractive is a bit harsh girl she is a perfectionist so maybe she just has super high standards when it comes to looks that is so mean <laughs> but like i said it kind of it kind of works for the storyline I have in my head for this generation. Um, even though she, very, I can't get over that. I was thinking she would think he's basic looking, but very unattractive, it's so harsh. Oh, poor guy. Um, let's see, so her and Lila still have amazing compatibility. I can't remember what her um, bonus trait was, but here she is, I think she looks very beautiful and she is such a good mix of both her parents um i ended up giving that girl willow a makeover as well um she she's not part of her like childhood friends group but she is kind of friends with her just from she invited her to her birthday so i don't know i feel like maybe she could also be her friend and then here's Aaliyah, her bff who's looking freaking beautiful i had to give her a chin and a jaw too but she does look a lot like bobby um, I forget what trait she got, but yeah, those are her friends, like, makeovers and stuff, and look what I noticed. So, with my other mod about, like, expanding the teen life, she got very popular, and she's part of the Cool Llamas social group, which is, like, basically the popular kids. So, she's the exact opposite of her brother. He is very unpopular. She's very popular. She, um has this high self-esteem thing from having uh, high confidence as a as a kid and for her personality like archetype thing she got caregiver which is perfect since she wants to be a mom and then she also has artist that's probably because she's into photography and stuff so yeah that is what she has going on i figured she she actually didn't go to school today because she aged up so late last night but I figured we could have her get either a part-time job or join an after-school activity. So let me see the options. Of course she has to um, max out cooking someday. So we could always just give her the fast food job. That's what I was thinking. But there's also a lot of other things. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Another mod that I got um, adds more after school activities, so we could also have her join one of those custom ones if any of them kind of match her her thing. But I, I don't know, I could almost see her being a cheerleader, but it wouldn't make a lot of sense because she is gloomy. <laughs> so it's like the opposite of being cheerful. Um, 
she could be a sim influencer but i've done so much with the social media in emerald's generation i'm kind of tired of it we're just gonna go for the fast food employee she can work on her cooking and stuff the only reason i said cheerleader is because she's popular and stuff but she can be a popular mickey d's worker that's fine <laughs> Notice the rain cloud earrings and necklace that I gave her because she's gloomy and she likes the rain. <laughs> um, her eyebrows, I decided she's going to dye them black because I just feel like blue eyebrows is like too much. <laughs> and her like natural auburny brown hair just looked weird with it. So that's why she just has black brows now. Oh yeah, I forgot Griffin actually asked to come over. So he is here. Let's make sure Emmett knows him because this is going to be his future brother-in-law. Oh, he doesn't even know him. Let's do a howdy introduction. <laughs> and we'll have... Um, Sapphire keeps trying to sleep. Girl, I know you stayed up late. Oh, wasn't it funny? I think I showed it at the end of the last part. Her friends ended up sleeping in sleeping bags at the... The slumber party, which I didn't realize they would actually do, but they like slept outside. <laughs> Let's come and hug Griffin. So because she's a perfectionist, I kind of feel like she would be, she, it says she has high self-esteem, but at the same time, I feel like she'd be really hard on herself um, and trying to maintain like being perfect. I think that glitch that I have, I don't know if it's a glitch, but my, my teens usually have one body like weight and muscle composition when they age up and then like a few minutes later it just like changes i don't really know what that is but i'm pretty sure when you guys just saw her in the last episode she looked like really skinny when she first aged up and then when i went into create a sim uh she was definitely a lot thicker which is totally fine she looks good but i kind of feel like the whole her being a perfectionist thing I feel like she and her dad being literally a professional athlete, I think she'd be really hot. What happened? Oh no, he didn't like her talking about games, dude. Get over it. Let's flatter him. <laughs> He's bored. She's, for some reason, looking like she's bored. Oh, boring discussion. That's annoying. I really hate that. I just really hate how the, the Sims don't like when when they talk about their own interests and then they're like annoyed it's like why don't you let somebody talk about something they care about for once hudson green is saying oh yeah so um i've been having emerald donate to charities as you guys saw i think we i did it on camera she donated to like two different charities at this point she's donated four thousand dollars to charities so her reputation's getting a little bit better it's still technically bad, but she went up from awful, so that's good. I think I will have her just like keep donating to them. There's a time limit on it, so like she couldn't just donate five times in a row really fast. She had to like wait in between. But yeah, we're gonna keep donating to charities. They have plenty of money, so like why not? Oh, that's good. Emmett and Griffin have good compatibility. He thinks that Griffin is imaginative and Griffin thinks that Emmett is interesting. Oh my god! Miles and I just welcome home our new baby. Are you able to stop by? No, Eva, I'm sorry. I think she had a baby on her own with him. <laughs> so now she has like two. Also, I noticed her friend Natalie had another baby and she named it Jem. Jem Vitor. So Lila has a little, little sister now. Oh, you want to know something hilarious? So, um, you know Emmett's bully, Perry, who for some reason isn't loading up. Um, you know how his mom, Christine, married that, like, that poor innocent tech guy who I feel really bad for? Well, um, and she got pregnant. I noticed she named the baby Goopy. Goopy? Like, <laughs> that is just karma for them being terrible people, the game auto-generating the name Goopy for her baby. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of funny. Oh, it looks like Emerald lost her gaming competition. She's a little out of practice. Emerald is a literal loser, at least at the latest game tournament. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what was that, Griffin? <laughs> Maybe he was excited about this cute pancake. I was trying to joke with him or something. Joke about engineers, that's random. Ooh, Everything is very laggy right now. Were the cat's ears just stretched? 
Uh, Griffin has a caregiver personality too. Oof, Let's try to flirt with Griffin because I kind of want to get them officially together. I wonder what social group he's in. He might not be in the popular group. He might be in the art one just because he's creative. I made him like um, writing because I feel like maybe he'll write like ch children's books or something. He'll just be like the cutest little dad. Oh, oh, she did a bold pickup line and then he instantly left. <laughs> At least he liked it though. Did they get a romance bar? Not quite, but maybe, maybe tomorrow after school, we could try to get them officially together because they were technically like little baby version of boyfriend, girlfriend because of the first love mod. So like, maybe they'll just have a talk like, so, I know we called ourselves boyfriend girlfriend when we were, when we were young, but are we are we like actually still <laughs> together? That's the kind of talk she needs to have with him. Oh hey, cousin Matthew is a young adult now and just married some chick named Martha wearing a Santa hat. Good for you, dude. Good for you. Oh yeah, and here's her little room makeover. I didn't do much. Just moved the bed over here. Here's like some of the random pictures she's taken. We'll pretend these Polaroids are things she took too. Just cause. Uh, yeah, it's just a very basic, boring room. <laughs> I think I was trying to say, I must have gotten distracted before I could finish the thought. But um, yeah, since Emerald is a, I mean, Emerald. <laughs> since Sapphire is a perfectionist, I think she would be really hard on herself um, in all aspects. Like she would try to be the very top student she would try to be perfect looking at all times like physically so i think she is gonna get into fitness um her whole family's pretty much into fitness honestly like her dad's obviously an athlete he's level 10 fitness uh emmett's pretty high in fitness too pretty sure he's like uh, he is level six in it oh should we go to school with them i really don't like going to the high school i'm just gonna send them along we might go in with her like once or twice but blah <laughs> going into the high school is kind of boring but yeah like her brother's level six in fitness i'm pretty sure emerald's like level eight so the whole family's um pretty big into fitness so i am gonna get her into fitness and her whole thing is like she wants to portray this image of like a perfect life. That's what Blue Jen's kind of about. Even though deep inside she is gloomy. So her generation is quite depressing. But <laughs> um, I think she's gonna definitely get into working out. And also just trying to be the absolute valedictorian of the school. So we are gonna have her study hard so she can become the top student as fast as possible. Aww. Griffin congratulating her on her little Mickey D's job. Emerald is live streaming some refuge. So with the video games, they're like a hidden scale for each game. So I figured if I wanted to win the gaming competition, she should probably play the refuge and like focus on one game. So maybe this is like her competitive game. The other ones are just games she plays um, in her free time for fun. And I'm having her raise that like hidden skill so she can actually win the gaming competitions. <laughs> what kind of speech would you be giving where that would come into play? I'm trying to get Donnie's charisma up because he just has one more promotion to go. Ooh, running the class. Um, Emmett is a goody two shoes. He would definitely follow the plan. And he got a performance loss. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying, good job donating to charity to Emerald. I wonder if we are able to do it again. The time is up on that thing. Oh, we can. Okay, let's do a thousand. Every time she's doing a thousand. Do a thousand to Bunny Population Control Agency. Toys for Elders, because that's really funny. The way she has 8 million followers. I don't think any, has any gamer ever had that many followers? <laughs> Did that many people play game? I guess that many people could play games. And I have her try this gaming tournament again. Ah, her name got added to the donor wall. Nice. Let's see her reputation now. Now she's done $5,000 to charity, not to mention her 24 hour charity stream, which we can also have her do that again. All right, maybe one more donation will be more in the 
Just naughty reputation. <laughs> Is that a thing? Or does it just say neutral? I don't know. Yay, good job, Donnie. You should get promoted now. Probably two more. Two more work days. What a life. <laughs> She's in a gaming competition. Tofu, really? You're running away again? I swear, I give the pets so much attention. I don't always show it on camera because it's just like boring, but like I have them walk the dog like every single day. There's always food in the food bowl. Emmett is always giving them extra, extra attention. Like there's no reason to run away, but sure. Anyways, as I was saying, what a life Emerald has. She just down here at 1 p.m. still in her pajamas playing video games. <laughs> oh, she won like first place. I don't think I've ever had a sim actually win first place. Streaming marathon from live streaming. Oh, yay. She won like actual first place. I guess all she had to do was play the game for like a couple hours and then she was good enough. So if you so with the video game competitions, like I said, all the games have like a hidden skill, but like if you don't um, play the game, then their skill like goes down. It's something they have to like keep keep up with to keep their skill up. That's something I read like a really long time ago <laughs> about how the gaming competitions work. So that's just a tip if your sim's like losing, um, just have them play the game that you want them to do a competition for and just like play it over and over until they get good at that game and then they have a better chance of winning. Yay! After her first day, she's already an A student. Oh, poor Emma is mortified. <laughs> he has unruly classmates, stress from school. He, he just never has a good time at school. Now he's moved from very unpopular to just unpopular, maybe because his sister is popular. He like moved up a little. Sapphire has her first day of her little fast food job today. She needed some fun, so I was like, why not watch the cooking channel? Get that skill up a little bit before she starts work. Um, can you imagine like your, your back windows view is this ferris wheel i would just always be tempted to go ride it <laughs> but yeah she's gonna have her first little day of work and then probably will go out with griffin after that i want to like go out somewhere like i feel like i'm always at their home lot so <laughs> i'm gonna try to get out of it wait why is this like the perfect fan mail that emerald just got hey i have a buzz cut and i think people stare at me but even if they do so what we're both rocking our hairstyle and she actually does have a unique hairstyle, so <laughs> why does that match so well? She actually got like a little a fan gift. Um, I changed her office a little. I know the lights are off right now, but I was like, why do I even have this as a separate room anymore? Because we don't have the kids' activities in here anymore. Um, so I just like combined this little random area with the rest of her office. I also changed the wall because that wallpaper was just so much <laughs> so much to look at visually but she ended up getting this teddy bear from a from a fan which was so cute so i just gave her a little shelf to put some of her random stuff that she's gotten miss perfectionist over here is touching herself up in the mirror before her first day of work she wants to make sure she looks perfect even if she's just a freaking fry cook <laughs> so she's gonna do that really fast and then run off to work. Go ahead, girl. Oh my god. What is she trying to do? No, don't get water. Not that glitch coming back where they always try to get water. Where's her outfit? She didn't even change. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Wait, I need a picture. You're so cute in your little Mickey D's outfit. This is her face before work. Let's see how she looks after. <laughs> One day working at a fast food restaurant um probably enough to crush anyone's soul so well we'll wish her the best but prepare for the worst <laughs> emerald is still into her sims tube channel but definitely posts a lot less frequently nowadays she's kind of like cruising into retirement <laughs> Lunch rush. Sapphire is barely keeping up with the lunch rush. When a burger slips off her spatula onto the floor, instinctively she pounces, snatching up the steaming patty before anyone sees. Really? It was only there for four seconds. Will the customer even know? 
She's gonna serve the burger because she would never want to admit a mistake as a perfectionist. Oh no! <laughs> there was hair and used chewing gum stuck to it, and she got in trouble. What did I tell you? First day at the fast food job, and she's already miserable. That's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, but Emerald probably only posts maybe one video a month now, but she also still live streams, so. Well, that's nice. Our sister in law, Dana, saying, Hi, friend, I miss your face to Emerald. I always kind of got the vibe that they had a bit of a like a strained relationship honestly like a little bit awkward um friendly but a little awkward at the same time but maybe not maybe maybe they've whoa what um oh what do we want to call this vlog tips on raising confidence i believe in you so should you <laughs> just one of those kind of cheesy videos <laughs> What did I say? The after first day of work at a fast food restaurant face. <laughs> That's really how it be though. <laughs> okay, um, she is sad because tofu's missing, but also sad because of the Harry Burger work event. <laughs> Poor girl. Come and take a thoughtful shower. Um, I forgot she would come home so late. It's nine o'clock already. She hasn't done her homework. Really wanted her to go out with Griffin. Maybe we still can. At least we could go to the amusement park near their house. I know I go there a lot, but it's just so convenient. Like they're right there and I can still control the rest of the family members because we don't even have to leave the lot. So yeah, maybe we'll do that. I don't know if it's too late if he's gonna get mad if we invite him over, but I'm gonna try. Our boy is feeling much better. He was mortified before, but he jogged to clear his mind. He's feeling so much better. Oh my God, I just love this background. Like if I lived this close to a place like this, I would just be there every single day, I think. Maybe not every day, but it's just so tempting to go over there, right? Please don't get mad that we're inviting you over late. I think as long as it's before 10 p.m. they don't yeah, say like, now. I'm sleeping, <laughs> you know? All right, cool, He's he's coming. Oh, she got the emotion bomb quirk. That makes sense. She's probably gonna lose her fame because she's not really trying to be a famous person. She's only famous because of her mom. So maybe that'll go away if she does lose her fame. All right, we're here at the amusement park thing. She is wearing her cute little polar bear hat. Aw. She's just complaining about her problems to Griffin. I hope I didn't set him to just like complaints. I don't think I did because I, I almost did, but then I was like, his wife's his future wife is gonna be gloomy. I can't make him hate complaints. <laughs> You're my favorite. Oh. oh, that's so cute. Share melancholy thoughts. I feel like he would just be the one who she can always go to when she's sad and he would understand and like um, help her through it and stuff. What if she says I love you but in the friendly category? I just wanna I just wanna say Yeah, he does have an artist the artist archetype. Wait, they have the both both the same ones. They both have artists and they both have caregivers. See, they are very compatible. They're perfect for each other. She's just pause. Um it's nice to know someone loves me. I'm pretty sure he said the same thing when they were kids. Can we ride this with him? Or do you have to actually, okay, we can. I was wondering if we had to actually already have a romance bar. This wasn't working last time with uh, Emmett, so hopefully it's not still glitched out. I wanna do that and I wanna do these these photos. Oh my God, why isn't it working? Okay, fine. We're gonna not take a sad photo. We're gonna... We can't do a romantic photo, I guess. Let me give them a romance bar. They should be real close to it because she has flirted with him. It's just not quite visible yet. Let's, oh, she is really sad, so it's kind of hard. Give a gloomy compliment, I guess. <laughs> Why are you guys standing so far away and why'd you turn your back to him? Do an amorous hug. All right, now he's very flirty. Um, he's clearly in love with her. <laughs> so, I know she's in such a bad mood, it's hard for her to flirt right now. Um, heat of the moment kiss. I don't want to do that. It's too soon. It's not really too soon, but I don't know. 
Let's just say I love looking at you because that's one of the only ones we can do. <laughs> but maybe we can do a romantic photo now. It might not come out good because she is in a bad mood, but we're gonna try it anyway. Why can't we do it? Why Why is everything here broken? Let me just like reset this. Is this whole entire like area broken or something? Or did he just say no? <gasps> what happened? What the heck? Okay, he yawned and then they just... <laughs> He just left. Um, flirty cow from clothing item? From clothing item? I have no idea what that's talking about. <laughs> She's utterly enamored. Boring discussion. I don't know what that's about. I'm at least gonna have her take a photo. I wanted her to take a photo of him, but he's leaving. It is two in the morning. <laughs> it's a school night. Can I be that mad? No, I guess not. But she's gonna go ahead and take a picture because we gotta work on her photography skill. Oh my God, I've never noticed this. That's so cute. She is just taking a gloomy walk by herself, taking photos. I think this is kind of how she probably decompresses after a bad day. Um, I'm having her take a picture of their house <laughs> from like over here, cause that's kind of cool. You can even see the tree house from here. That's kind of a cool picture. I have to have a gallery wall in her house someday. Oh, she just reached level two photography, so that's good. Oh, <laughs> I guess I went a little too far into this water and now she is in her bathing suit. I kind of like this. This is like where I took her thumbnail shot for her makeover video. We'll do this. This is super random, but she's out here on an emo walk. <laughs> And I remember when she was a toddler, she got the Love's Water um, quirk. Maybe water or swimming is her, like, her fitness of choice. She's just out here feeling emo as hell. And she's like, I'm just gonna go for a swim, cool off. This water would be freezing cold because it is cold out, but it looks like it was refreshing in a way and she's feeling a lot better now. So yeah, swimming can be a random hobby of hers. I think I'm gonna wrap this part up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, share the video, leave a comment down below, and follow me on all my social media. As for the question of the day, what town in the game do you think we should have Sapphire move to when she ages up? I haven't really thought about it yet. She could really live anywhere because her aspiration and like all the things in her generation are just very general. There are things she could do in any town. I'm thinking maybe the town that came with growing together just because it is a family based area and then her whole thing is like she wants to have a family <laughs> and kids and like be a successful parent and stuff so i don't know let me know down below where you think she should move to i hope you guys have an amazing day and i hope i'll see you next time bye